What is up fam? Welcome back to a Pokemon adventure. So, as I said the last episode, we'll try and level them up to level 20 and such, but I decided against it just due to the sheer fact that I may not have time to actually record over the weekend. We've got the kids here making a lot of noise, so I might not actually be able to talk. And I don't think an episode with me, out me talking would be very fun. So, this episode, we're going to try and go get our first gym badge. Okay, guess you're not an actual trainer. <laughs> I know you are, buddy. Just trying to level up our Butterfree for now. Got it to level 11, so now we've got a psychic move at least. I just want to beat Brock so then I can have a bit of fun training Pokemon up again. That way it's going to keep me leveled up for every gym badge and capturing more and more Pokemon as we go on. Of course Butterfree of a Psychic Move is just going to wreck everything now. Although I think Brock's going to be a problem because, you know, Fire Red now actually means the Rock Moves will do a lot of damage to Butterfree. So yeah, there's a lot of training to do yet, but when we get up to Pewter City, we want to challenge Brock and give him a butt whooping of his life. So far, Butterfree just annihilates, so that's handy. Should be some pretty easy levels through here. You can re-battle the trainers every six hours, but I believe they do get stronger every time. So when I do come back to fight these guys eventually, I'm going to say they'll probably be around about level 20 Pokemon. So that's a cool thing about uh, the MMO version is that you can do that. Of course coming through here is a pretty simple task. Just want to make sure I get all the trainers destroyed so that we've got some extra money and XP anyway. So, so far the only Pokemon I have in my party that I actually really want to keep is Pikachu. I'll keep Butterfree as long as I can anyway, just to the fact, much better Pokemon at the start really. A later game is pretty weak against everything. Like this Pikachu for instance, so we're going to try and get the hell out of here. Yeah, Psychic moves aren't super effective, so let's just run from him. I have been still trying to catch Pikachu, because with the breeding on here, when you breed two Pokemon together, you actually lose the two Pokemon. So in order to breed your Pokemon up to have all the high stats and such, you need a lot of them. And I mean a lot of them. I've spent... Hundreds of thousands of dollars on this game just breeding. Well, actually, that's probably an underestimate there. I know I've uh, made a few million for the game and wasted it all on breeding. Now you a fight? Yes. Bug catches so easy. Easy levels for me, my friend. Oh, wow. Has Metapod survived it? That actually shocks me. I think another thing is when you rebattle the trainers, their Pokemon will actually evolve throughout, too. I'm not 100% certain on that, though. Okay, these guys all got like high special defense or something because I've been one shotting level sevens so and now I'm fighting these guys and it's two shotting. Ooh, 
almost level 13 now, fam. Yeah, I believe after Brock I get the running shoes. I'm hoping I do anyway, because the sight walking is horrible, man. Pick up as many items as I can while I'm running through here. Because you never know, they can come in handy at some point. Beat this guy and then we're off to Pewter City, baby. And he's got like a high level Weedle, I believe. Level 9. I actually wonder if this will still be a uh, two shot kill. Sorry about that, a week off again. Well, turns out it was a one-shot kill. Can't complain about that, right? Sweet, some extra moves here going on. Keep some status moves on and we can come in handy. Fusion is our main attack, and then just use some of these uh, status moves. They all come in, in handy one way or the other. I mean, you still can't hate that music, right? Pokemon did right by us for having this music. Heal everybody up and then we'll head on over to Brock. I'm guessing with what Pokemon I've got here, we should be able to take care of them. Open so anyway. That's right, we've got to beat you first. 10,000 light years from facing Brock. So you're a ground type, so this won't actually affect you, will it? No, I'll hit you for poison powder then. We want those levels regardless, so we may as well go for it. Oh well, we're doing pretty decent damage anyway. Maybe I shouldn't have poisoned him and I should have just hit him. <laughs> now I believe I'm... Oh, I thought Psychic was actually super effective against this guy. I guess not. We've got Nido around there who can use double kick, so we could probably do a little bit of damage on somebody that way. Plus, got a high level charm medium, so we should be able to still do this. Okay, that guy's fighting Brock with a Tyranitar. Not something you see every day, I guess. Oh, out with the Onyx first. If I think about it, we can poison them and they'll do time over, over time damage. Then we should actually be alright with the fighting, because now he's going to one-shot me since I'm a bug flying type. But he's poisoned, so that's a start. Right, we'll take out Nidoran. And we'll try and double kick the crap out of him. Well, my Nidoran wasn't very fast to start with, so it doesn't worry me, buddy.
Alright, that's actually not too bad for damage we're dealing so far. He's affected by poison as well as getting double kick, so... Small, minimal amounts of damage anyway. Alright, so we're just going to take care of this Geodude now. Alright, Brock was easy, guys. Need not worry because I just ripped them. I forgot metal was good against ground. Well, rock. Which I must say is quite funny considering Onyx evolves into a steel top with a whole bunch of steel moves. First try, and we destroyed Brock. I received the boulder badge, bull. Yeah. Thank you very much, my friend. We just wrecked them. That's probably a bad way to say that word. But we win. <laughs> we lost, what, two Pokemon in the process. So that's really not bad at all. What's next on our adventure? Mount Mooners. I don't think we're going to make it there in the time we have left, but we'll get there. I want to spend a bit of time on Mount Moon clicking up some Zubat. Because I will be honest, Crobat is a favourite type of Pokemon. Oh my lord, hell yes. We now have running shoes, baby. Oh yeah, they're so nice. I has running shoes. <laughs> Alrighty, Pidgey. Just fight whatever we can and try and level up now, I guess. Cannot complain. Well, oh, that'll still be super effective, I think. Yeah. Super effective, but only does 6 damage. Okay, then. Cannot complain at the fact that uh, it didn't do much damage. Not be really nice. It's like a recover on Butterfree. So as Butterfree can lose, uh, learn a couple of psychic moves, if I recall. Well, my moves would be super effective against you at least. Surely here, C. So I can only go up to level 26 with my Pokemon at this stage. Well, at least before we fight Misty. So at least now, well, what, 8 levels from max boat level Pokemon I've got. So that's not too bad, I can have a little bit of fun doing that. I know that in Mount Moon I've got to catch me a Geodude, Zubat and Clefairy. Oh, and Paris. I can't forget about Paris. Even though nobody ever catches them really. I've primarily only ever caught them just so I can uh, get the Pokedex. So yeah, can't really complain too much about that. Alright guys, so I think we'll uh, end this episode off short for now as the house special we'll see. We will come back in the next episode ready to go through Mount Moon. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Good daily. Out.